One of the most invaluable principles anyone can follow is to draw lessons from the mistakes and experiences of others, particularly those who have navigated the world's imperfections and still found joy within its confines. Such profound insights are what one can glean from the life and works of Charles Bukowski. The problem with the world is that the intelligent people are full of doubts, while the stupid ones are full of confidence. We don't even ask for happiness, just a little less pain. Beware of those who seek constant crowds. They are nothing alone. If you have the ability to love, love yourself first. Wherever the crowd goes, run in the other direction. They're always wrong. Some people like what you do. Some people hate what you do. But most people simply don't give a damn. Too often the people complain that they have done nothing with their lives and then wait for somebody to tell them that this isn't so. The crowd is the gathering place of the weakest. True creation is a solitary act. Success is always dangerous. It can make an asshole out of anybody. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. What matters most is how well you walk through the fire. I don't hate people. I just feel better when they're not around. Sometimes you climb out of bed in the morning and you think, I'm not going to make it. But you laugh inside, remembering all the times you felt that way. We are here to laugh at the odds and live our lives so well that death will tremble to take us. Beauty is nothing. Beauty won't stay. You don't know how lucky you are to be ugly. Because of people like you, you know it's for something else. People are strange. They are constantly angered by trivial things. But on a major matter like totally wasting their lives, they hardly seem to notice. Nobody can save you but yourself. And you're worth saving. It's a war not easily won, but if anything is worth winning, then this is it. Of course, it's possible to love a human being if you don't know them too well. Bad taste creates many more millionaires than good taste. Your ambition is handicapped by laziness. There is nothing that teaches you more than regrouping after failure and moving on. The less you need, the better you feel. We're all going to die. All of us. What a circus. That alone should make us love each other, but it doesn't. Find what you love and let it kill you. Things get bad for all of us, almost continually. And what we do under constant stress reveals who or what we are. You have to die a few times before you can really live. Real loneliness is not necessarily limited to when you are alone. 
Sleeping in the lion's den doesn't make you a lion. There is always one woman to save you from another. And as that woman saves you, she makes ready to destroy. There are only two things wrong with money. Too much or too little. Simplicity is always the secret to a profound truth, to doing things, to writing, to painting. Life is profound in its simplicity. Can you remember who you were before the world told you who you should be? If something burns your soul with purpose and desire, it's your duty to be reduced to ashes by it. Any other form of existence will be yet another dull book in the library of life. Nothing is worse than to finish a good shit, than reach over and find the toilet paper container empty. Even the most horrible human being on earth deserves to wipe his ass. The only time most people think about injustice is when it happens to them. There are worse things than being alone, but it often takes decades to realize this, and most often when you do, it's too late. And there's nothing worse than too late. If you're losing your soul, and you know it, then you've still got a soul left to lose. And why do women always need the husbands of other women? And why do horse thieves always prefer a tamed horse to a wild one? If a woman lacks sex for a long time, soon she will begin to understand that she wants more than just physical contact. She'll long for an emotional bond that vibrates in harmony with her heartbeats. To truly make a difference in the world, start by helping one person at a time. Anything more grandiose than this is either overly idealistic or politically motivated. Love is a form of prejudice. You love what you need. You love what makes you feel good. You love what is convenient. Genius might be the ability to say a profound thing in a simple way. A love is like a serious illness, an illness from which you never entirely recover. We are like flowers that never took the chance to bloom when we should have, and it's as if life has grown tired of waiting for us.